reform, dear teachers, and we've learned new pedagogies, skill-based assessments, and support is being provided to you with the coaching approach. He's a lad, upon ourselves is just a lad. Looking forward to yet another day in our learning fiesta. This system of observations is going to be absolutely transparent. When will people come to observe you? What exactly is it will they be observing? The importance of development observation, you know, it allows, as she mentioned, it allows transparent system of observation. Five different types of development observations are, the first, by the innovation wing. The class observation resulted in consultations to improve the overall impact of the lesson in the classrooms. the education of your students your first concern and ensure to achieve the highest possible standards in work and conduct. We now are looking forward to internalize these assessments to a greater extent and setting higher goals for both the internal and external assessments. It is rightly said that we must prepare students for the world of their future, not the world of our past. Formative assessments, as you all know, it's the most powerful tool in our hands to gauge our students' understanding continuously. What is your favorite uh, formative assessment strategy and why? My favorite technique, I would say, is three, two, one. What have been your experiences with formative assessment? Here, I feel formative assessments play a very, very important role. And one of the techniques that I use a lot is hinge questions. Uh, the various techniques you all are using, your classes are surely very interesting and the learners are having a go at it because otherwise they sit passively. So there's active learning taking place. Filling gaps in learning, adjust your own teaching through these informative strategies. Feedback strategies. Bravo, well done! The key principle is that feedback and formative assessment work hand in hand. They have a symbiotic relationship with each other and cannot be planned in isolation. How to ensure that feedback is aligned to the desired learning outcomes so that we are very clear about the idea, what they have to learn, what they have to focus on. The alpha class methodology is that children are in pairs and they are giving feedback to each other. You're looking at the data subject-wise and it also is a way in which you are getting diagnostic details and the pulse of the child, not just subject-wise, but topic-wise also. Is that helping you? It's helping us, ma'am. And the data is taking us to the direction that we, um, we aim to reach at. This, it's clear that we, we ourselves have to model good practice. So feedback is not just relevant for students, it's relevant for the whole community. Here, analysis is the skill that the teacher wishes to develop in her students. 
The verb which describes it and the observable action is an important component of the MLO. CPDs and PLC sessions have been a great platform for teachers to pool in their ideas of refinement. It is important that we differentiate the way we teach to best suit all our students' needs. Remember, no child should be left behind.